There is the same intuitive active driving assist 4.5 system, a suite of radars, cameras, sensors and black magic that allows the cars to cruise semi-autonomously in select circumstances, mainly on the highway or in stop-and-go traffic. There is the same crisp, double-screen 12-inch dash and infotainment setup, sealed in a seamless spinning under two-foot piece of glass. There is the same familiar but somewhat frustrating neural Dorio under a flip phone controller to adjust the central screen, and the same finicky touch sensitive sliders on the steering wheel to control the screen in front of the driver. There is even the same energizing comfort system that adjusts the lights, massage, ventilation and atomizing cabin odorizer functions to add to your wellness routine, a health claim matched in Dubai the only by those from users of gravity boots and those who consume snack wells devil's food cookies. There are, of course, some new paint, trim, wheel and upholstery offerings not seen on the sedan. But it is not until you get around to the absolute rear of the car that you'll notice the major design difference, standard OLED tail lamps. Neat and it's not until you open the hood that you'll note the major engineering difference. Well, you won't notice it when you open the hood, because like most contemporary cars, you can't see much beyond a big, plastic engine cover when you do that, and the innovation is computerized and deep inside the V. It is, of course, another all-caps improvement, this one bearing a name that may seem more at home on a 1950s Oldsmobile.